फ्रेंड्स 960 डेज ऑफ वॉर इन सदर्न वॉर जोन ऑन कार्सो फ्रंट आई एस डब्ल्यू एंड सम रिपोर्टर्स इन टेलीग्राम से दैट रशियंस असॉल्ट इन दिस सेक्टर दैट इज ईस्टर्न बैंक ऑफ निप्रो रिवर इज कंटिन्यूइंग हाउ अवर नो चेंजेस इन जापोरिजिया द रशियन ऑफेंसिव ऑपरेशन दो लिमिटेड इज कंटिन्यूइंग इन कामयांसकी डायरेक्शन ओरिखोवो एंड रिमिफिया सेक्टर बाई लाज पोजिस्टल बैटल नो चेंजेस इन द ईस्टर्न वॉर जोन्स ऑन मारिंका कुराखो फ्रंट रशियंस एडवांस्ड अबाउट हंड्रेड मीटर्स टूवर्ड्स कैटरी नीवका टू हंड्रेड मीटर्स इन ओस्त्रीवस्की Ukrainian army has finally withdrawn fully from the west land which is west of Nevelsky on its adjacent border that is of Divka Pokrovsk Russians made gains towards Hirnik and they also advanced 200 meters in Zoryani and 300 meters in Lysivka district they made some marginal gains west of sukurin which is south of seledo and finally they have fully seized zelani 1 and zelani 2 in last few days of operations in toresk sector russians advanced another 200 meters inside the city and the city is likely to fall very soon as ukrainians are holding partially part of it on the outskirts towards west and northwest side bakhmut chasivyar as per isw russian made some marginal gains towards the city side siversk there are lots of confusion as to who holds what in the operations in last few days russians have advanced in bilohorivka and Serebranka also in Raihorivka however earlier claims by the russian army or on various social media channels that russians have fully taken over Verkhne Kamenskyi is not true but it do holds northern part of it and similar situation in Vimka where ukrainians is still control part of this villas northeast ukraine russians advanced 300 meters west of stalmak khivka and 200 meters towards kruglya khivka they also advanced southwest of makhivka that is northwest of kremina they are creeping slowly but positively towards oskil river all along kupian swato kremina direction north of kharkiv that is slobozansky direction in volchans aggregate plant is still under russian army lipsy no changes in kursk sector russian mod claims to have seized novoya sorokina in sudza and pokrovsky in korenivo district they also carried out air and ground attacks on ukrainian formation near dari nu lubimovka which it claims to have taken over 50% noviput and plekho ukrainians also carried out offensive operation in various sectors including veziloe but no gains here heavy artillery air operations continuing in almost entire kursk oblast from both the sides interdiction missions on 9 10 night ukrainians launched close to 47 uavs against russian target two dozen in bryansk itself other regions were rostov kramatorsk sea of azov coast and belgorod while russians used missiles to hit ukrainian assembly area in sumy odisha kramatorsk nipro and other regions palestine lebanon israel middle east in gaza strip idf continue striking in north and south sector 
In West Bank, 25 more women minors have been arrested by Israeli security forces. On Lebanon border, IDF has entered on several new locations, both west and east sectors. In center, IDF is already in Maroon Ar Reis area. Israeli defense forces continue its air strike in Beirut, especially in southern part, and it has also struck. Many targets in Syria. While Hezbollah fired 300 plus rockets at Safed city in Israel, it also used its UAV flight over Haifa and returned back without being detected. In India, where two provinces underwent elections for their assemblies, one Jammu and Kashmir where BJP lost. and second is haryana where in the last moment in sudden trick bjp won and the opposition is blaming mass scale rigging in evm and election commission being part of it elections in any capitalist society is never ever either free or fair be it discrimination partiality media social media the uses or misuses of state powers like election commission itself and also includes various parts of judiciary administration police and other security forces and that's all for the day friends thank you